open up my Lotus mashups from this point. And I'll also point out here that although you'll hear this called Lotus mashups, there are two parts to our mashup maker. It's actually called Mashup Center. And Mashup Center consists of Lotus mashups and our mashup hub. When you hear the word Lotus, I know a lot of people think, wait a minute, that's Lotus Notes and it's the same time and it's a whole different thing and I'm talking about enterprise and video and what does Lotus have to do with this. Well, this is more than just Lotus. The information management part I'm going to show you comes from a different part of IBM altogether, the people that make DB2 and our information management tools. I also can extend a solo with this. I can also do all the other things that you know about in the Web 2.0 space. So when you see the name Lotus up here, I know that that immediately says, well, that's not enterprise as much as it is collaborative and sociable. No, in fact, it is. And I'll tell you that because Rod's group is the one that actually headed all of this. In fact, about three and a half years been working on this technology now. So I am in the mashup space. I'm going to actually grab a page here. I'll say I want to create a new page. And I'll call this S-U-R-V-E-I. Yes, Mrs. Myrink, my high school teacher, I does not always come before E. Can't tell you how many times I misspelled this. Um, I'll just call this Surveillance 1. Create a brand new page. When I'm in editing mode, now I could be in view mode. That means as a user, that's all you can do is use it. I don't trust you to do anything. I can give you permissions if I would like to go into editing mode. And by the way, there are permissions throughout all of this for security, etc. I'm going to uh, drop down from demo here, grab the Cidio, uh, Cisco video display widget, and this is the widget that we created so that we can drop it and drag it and put it on the palette. If I wanted to go into the preferences for this right now, all I would need to do is edit the settings, put in the user ID and the password, and my user ID and password, and connect to the camera. And by the way, uh, I'll tell you that I did my homework on these Cisco video devices, and they do support all of this protection that we would expect with, with uh, let's see, they are uh, WEP and WAP and uh, PKIP and all of the security you would expect from encryption over a video camera. What I'm going to do here, instead of putting that in, is I'll go to a page here that I actually created that said Cisco Watch Camera. I never know at a show like this what my bandwidth will be. I never know at a show like this what my internet connectivity will be. So I'm going to show you the camera connected to Raleigh right now, and then the rest of the demonstration I canned the video because I've been, anybody that's done a demonstration at these events knows that there's going to be an issue. There's another issue. Anybody that's tried to put video cameras up inside their corporation, be it Cisco or IBM, your site security will come on, on you like, oh. Uh, so this is in a locked room. So far within the IBM facility, you'll notice that the atomic clock cannot find its time. The time zone switch, and it's not correct. But I am bringing this over right now from the site. And I'll show you a little bit about this camera. I can do the zooming in, and, and uh, this is pretty cool in and of itself. Anybody that's into video, notice the 72480. This camera cannot just do 72480. This thing can go full high def. Well, this actual camera can go 72480, but they got a full high def version. The other thing I want to mention about this camera before I go on is that, or this total Cisco solution, is that it's not just video. This is also two-way audio, and this camera does a, uh, de has detection so that I can set up to three areas on the camera that says when I see activity in this area, send it via an open API to, to whatever you want to. It's on the network. If you want to do detection, it's an event. You can act upon the event. You can record. You can snapshot. You can do whatever you want from there. You can start recording audio from that location. So I've connected to the camera, and I showed you that. What I'm going to do from this point on, though, is I'm going to create a new page here. And let me call this S-U-R-V-E-I-L-L-A-N-C-E-2. So I'm going to create a brand new page. I'm going to go and bring in my data source. Now I mentioned, here's my drawers full of widgets that I can use to create a mashup. When I click on this gear in the right-hand corner, it's certificate-based, my connection, so I say, yes, I'll accept the certificate. Now I'm going into the other half of our mashup environment, which is, how do I get my data sources? 
I can go and list the feeds that I have right now sitting on a database. By the way, where's this database? Don't know, don't care. It's just a list of widgets that I can use in my mashups. But I'm going to create a brand new one. I'm going to create a new feed, and the reason I want to do this is point out, let me read a few of these. I know they're difficult for you to see. DB2, Domino Server, IBM Information Server, IMS, LDAP, SQL from a, a, a relational database, SAP, Tivoli, a web service as you and I know it. But here's the one I'm going to pick, which is an Excel workbook. Now this is IBM. IBM coming up and saying, oh, you can bring in Excel spreadsheets? No, IBM says, oh, you need enterprise hardened data. And the truth is, is that Excel spreadsheets run small line of business applications throughout every one of our companies, whether we like it or not, they're there. So as a person that has that skill, I can build what I'm going to show you right now. In this worksheet, all I did is I created a worksheet that's got, uh, it's A through G, so I've got a few uh, columns, and I've got four rows. I said, this is the person, the guard that's on duty. This is the building that they're guarding. This is their phone number. This is their same time address. This is the camera that is for that address. That's it. Created a worksheet. I'm going to take that worksheet right now, and I'm going to say next. And I'm going to give it, I happen to know that the header is the first row, right? And I'm going to give it a range of A2 to G5. On that spreadsheet, I want you to go and get that information. I'm going to browse for that spreadsheet, and I call it guard roster, right there. I'm going to open that, select next, and off we go. I have just made it into a RSS feed. Everything in that list that you saw, whether it was LDAP or a web service or whatever, when I get done with it here, it's an RSS feed or an Atom feed or XML, which I can work with very easily. I don't need an enterprise developer to do that for me. In this case, let me give this a title, which uh, I will call, today is, uh, let me think what's a good name to make this. I'll just make this uh, on duty. And by the way, I looked up online to see if there was a real phobia name for fear of typing in front of audiences. There is not. But what I did find in the list, fear of large things, fear of white things. And the list went on, but I did not find one for fear of typing in front of uh, audiences. But it seems to be my weakest point. So I'm going to call this on duty guards, and I'll just do uh, demo G A U R D S. Uh, see, did it wrong there? G U A. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put demo as my description. Now, under the tags space, see, that's why I have the phobia people laugh at me. So under the tag space, let me put um, G U A R D S. And I'm going to type camera. Now notice the camera is one of the select suggested tags that's already out there. And I think if I start typing um, uh, view, that's probably another tag that's been used. So I can easily find widgets. And I want to make this one public. This is where I can say I want to lock this down. I select finish and I have just created the feed. That's it. If I go and look at this feed, I want to view the feed details. Well, I could go and rate this feed. I could give it a rating. I could say, okay, this is the admin person. Um, I also want to mention, later on, guards have changed. Tomorrow somebody's gone off, and I want to make a change. How do I do this? Do I call IT and say, make a change? Well, I'll show you how I use this, but should I later want to go back and say, this has changed, I update my spreadsheet, I say edit source, and I upload the new spreadsheet. I've just changed my mashup and I didn't have to contact IT to do anything. I'm going to, in this case, say I want to add this to my Lotus mashups. It's already got the name, it's already got the description. There's a, I want to make this into a data uh, viewer in this case, which says take my feed and make it very easily for me so I can view it within a day. And I'm going to put it, let's put it in my, uh, I'll put it in my tools folder, that's good enough. Select finish. I'm done. When I go back here to Lotus Mashups, and I say, by the way, I have to reload the page to get the widget to appear in my drawer. We'll work on that.